science is all around us. It's in us. Knowledge of science is power. You see, when you ask why something happens, how does a person answer why something happens? You know, smiling is a fantastic thing, you know? You know about it? The smile, if you smile, the whole day will be smiling. If you don't smile, they will not smile. So it's like, you make it a habit to smile. It creates a lot of friendship, a lot of happiness, okay? Is there any way out of this impasse created by man himself? All of us, and particularly those who are responsible for the attitude of the U.S. and the U.S.S.R. Imaginary time. People think it's something you have in dreams or when you're up against a deadline. But it's a well-defined concept. Imaginary time is like another direction in space. Newton was a decidedly odd figure. Brilliant beyond measure, but solitary, joyless, prickly to the point of paranoia, famously distracted. Oh. The positive aspects of my job is that I've been able to, number one, pursue my love of science, been able to aid the clinical uh, physicians and pathologists with the decisions that they use daily to um, improve patient outcome, patient care. Some of the positive things actually about my job that I really enjoy is mainly the people. Uh, I work with, an, uh, you know, because I'm a clinical lab scientist, we are very close, close in knit family. In their quest to improve human health, medical scientists study the cause of diseases and test new methods to prevent and treat them. Medical scientists oversee many phases of development for drugs and medical devices. For example, they might develop an experimental combination of drugs to slow the progress of an illness, then design and lead a clinical trial to test its effectiveness, and conclude by writing a report and publishing their findings. Most of the Leonardo books are in the art domain. What Isaacson does is to say what made Da Vinci special. It casts his life in the broad sense by doing it chronologically. He explains why things flourished, how Da Vinci was really so unique. Leonardo would write about different topics, how rivers flowed, or the symmetry of, of wings. You know, flight really fascinated him. He always wanted to build some artificial flying machine. Galileo Galilei was a mathematician, physicist, philosopher, and astronomer. He is often considered the father of modern science. Galileo was the one who really put together the principles of experiment, theory, and mathematics together into a common framework. Probably more than anyone else, Galileo was really the person responsible for developing modern astronomy. And to go as far as you can, the world needs you badly. Humanity is now fully into the techno-scientific age. There's going to be no turning back. Uh, although varying among disciplines, say astrophysics, molecular genetics, the immunology, the microbiology, the public health, to the new area of, course I would of be the human physicist. body as a symbiont. It uses my skills at mathematics. It makes contact with the world. It helps me feel that I understand what the, how the world works. Nikola Tesla, famed and mysterious scientist, inventor and proponent of the AC current system, the Tesla coil, and some believe the inventor of the death ray and free electricity for all. Should realize that we may have vanquished an external enemy, but have been incapable of getting rid of the mentality created by war. It is impossible to achieve peace as long as every single action is taken with a possible future conflict in view. Every age has produced men of vision, individuals whose progressive thinking and advanced ideas set them apart from their contemporaries. The golden age of Greece had Aristotle, the Renaissance, Leonardo da Vinci. There was Edison and electricity, Marconi and radio, the Wright brothers and aviation, 
History has recorded many others. The space age also has its men of vision. Outstanding among them was a New Englander who dreamed one of the longest dreams of all time, and in so doing, made possible the age of space, Dr. Robert Hutchings Goddard. The Goddard Space Flight Center in Greenbelt, Maryland, is named in his honor. Technology is changing our world. Our devices allow us to do things that were previously unimaginable. Artificial intelligence could be a real danger in the not too distant future. It could design improvements to itself, announced Murdasol. See the real science. Real science begins when you are really interested in something and you want to find out. Being born and raised in Swaziland, I have experienced some of the many challenges that our country is facing. Being outside inspires me to look at things and see how they've evolved. When I was younger, I watched a mind-blowing environmental documentary. The inspiration came from my passion for music and realizing there are people out there who cannot experience it the way I do. The belief that God had created mankind in his own image and likeness was shared by most Western scientists until the middle of the 19th century. They thought all the creatures of the planet had been conceived by a divine force. That is, until Charles Darwin arrived. Although the Principia has been called one of the most inaccessible books ever written, Newton intentionally made it difficult so that he wouldn't be pestered by mathematical smatterers, as he called them, it was a beacon to those who could follow it. It not only explained mathematically the orbits of heavenly bodies, but also identified the attractive force that got them moving in the first place. Que hemos descubierto un mundo asombroso oculto en ríos y cursos de agua cerca de donde vivimos. I've always enjoyed science because science is, well, everything. The world around us has to change, and only by asking questions will we find solutions. Why do rainbows appear only when it rains? How can I talk to robots in English? Galileo was really the father of Western science. Galileo is fundamentally responsible for what we know about the universe today. So we did not understand how the force of gravity worked before Einstein gave us the general theory. Science literacy is brain wiring. It's what's your first thought when someone tells you something? Any task you do, you have to come across problem. Problem should not become the captain of the individual or the project chief. The project chief should become the captain of the problems and defeat the problem and succeed. We shouldn't be scared by how crazy our ideas seem. One of the most meaningful outcomes is watching the subject's reactions. They heard music for the first time. I see things and I want to make them better. Science is exciting because it's about pushing the world forward for the benefit of humankind. We should know how to handle not only how to handle the success, how to handle the failures. While there is life, there is hope. There are many ambitious experiments planned for the future. We will map the positions of billions of galaxies, and we will better understand our place in the universe. But we must also continue to go into space for the future of humanity. I don't think we will survive another thousand years without escaping beyond our fragile planet. The hypothetical world appears on the public horizon as a broadly attainable goal. Its accelerated development is insolently proclaimed by the president. Its successful radioactive poisoning of the atmosphere and him annihilation of any life on Earth has been brought within the range of technical possibilities. 